Hi, in this demo, I'll show you how simple it is to report web application issues using Bug Digger. After installing the Bug Digger extension for your web browser, a bug reporting button will appear in the browser's toolbar. You can click this button at any time on any website. Let's try it on Google's search page. I'll type in a search string and submit the form. Now, let's say I spotted an issue on the current page. All I need to do is click the bug reporting button and a new window will open up with a reporting form. I'll type in a short description of the issue. The web page screenshot has been captured and uploaded already. If I click on the screenshot, I'll get a simple image editor that I can use to scribble or add a pointer or text to the screenshot. Okay, let's save this. The screenshot has been automatically cropped and added as an extra image to my bug report. Now, after I submit the report, you can see that beside my description and images, the bug details page shows information about my web browser, operating system, and requests to the website preceding my bug report. At this time, as the bug was not submitted to an external bug tracker, only I can access this page. I can give access to other people sharing this public URL with them. Let's send this issue to a bug tracker. I already have a few trackers on my account, so I'll choose one and select a project to which the bug should be submitted. I'll tick this checkbox so all my future reports for the same website will go straight to the selected project. You can see now that I've got a more complex form, which has been taken from the bug tracker. When I submit it, a new issue will be created with the bug tracker. Let's take a look. You can see that images have been uploaded and my description was extended with details about the environment and a more details link. Access to the linked details page on Bug Digger will be allowed only to users that have access to this project at the bug tracker. They do not need to be Bug Digger users and can sign in with their credentials for the bug tracker. Now I'll close this window and get back to the tested website. If you remember, I set the default project for this site, so now when I click the Bug Digger button, I'll get the full bug reporting form right away. That's it. One more issue has been created. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I wish you a pleasant bug digging.